the reason that I put this course together, I've done this, alhamdulillah, at least, at least a dozen times now. Um, the reason it was put together was um, through my experience of dealing with people's marital problems on a weekly basis for the last uh, five years um, and dealing with approximately 500 cases. What I was finding was there were common mistakes being made by people. Um, you might think they're very obvious, but you know, when you see a large number of people time and time again making the same mistake over and over again, it's, it's not as obvious as it should be. The purpose of this course, inshallah, some of the uh, issues that I've dealt with, some of the cases, some of the lessons we can learn from other people's mistakes, and also a few other aspects which maybe um, somebody who's not married or maybe in their 20s or 30s has not really thought through or maybe hasn't realized the importance or emphasis of it. Okay. Uh, part of the course is not just me talking, part of it is also discussion based, so we're going to have five discussion questions. And the reason I'm asking this question, you might think, is it not an obvious question? It's not an obvious question, because very often someone will say, I'm looking to get married. And you say, okay, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a good person. And I think, alhamdulillah, so the only thing I understood from that is you're not looking for a bad person. <laughs> have you ever heard anyone say, I'm looking, I'm looking for a bad person? I want to get married to a bad person. Obviously, you're going to say, I want to marry a good person. So that doesn't actually help you in any way. It doesn't, what does that mean? It's a meaningless, uh, meaningless phrase. And the majority of people, if you ask them, uh, they, get my, they want to get married, you ask them, what are you looking for? Good sister, good brother. What is that? What does that mean? So, what does it mean? I want you to tell me, right? What do you mean by that? When you say a good, pious Muslim, what does that mean to you? What is a good Muslim? What is a pious Muslim to you? Um, is going to be the biggest decision of your life. It's a decision which is going to affect uh, the rest of your lives, whether that marriage is successful or not. So even if you get divorced at some point, it's still going to have a repercussion on you psychologically. You might have children from that marriage. Uh, the experiences, because I've dealt with people who are divorced, uh, who are now in the process of getting remarried. And the first thing you have to do is deal with um, you know the issues that they've carrying from their first marriage and only once they've got through that they're ready then to move on and I've dealt with uh, people who have got divorced within weeks um, some within months some within a couple of years and I'm not talking one or two cases so inshallah none of us obviously want to end up in that situation which is why it's important that we really think things through